All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a measuring tape and a pencil to align your records on the wall. And then of course you're gonna need records. Now I got my records from Goodville and Value Village and from family friends and everything, but you can always check out eBay, Amazon, you can even check out garage sales. Places like this usually have them for cheap, maybe 50 cents or a dollar each, so make sure you know how many you're gonna get before you get them. And the last material that you're gonna need is push pins. So these are better than anything else for the wall because you don't wanna leave the wall damaged or anything and these, especially in dorm rooms, can be pulled out really easily. So in my case, I've decided to put up my records above my bed as like a focal point of the room. So I just laid out all the records on the bed to see how many I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna need four by four, which is four columns and four rows of records. Okay, so now to get started, take a record and a push pin and secure it to the wall at the bottom corner of your record wall. Make sure your record is placed above head level because sometimes when you lean back in bed, your head hits the records and they keep falling off and that's really annoying. But if you have a headboard that's big enough and doesn't interfere with this, then don't worry about what I just said. So to secure it, just take a push pin and push it right through the middle of the record like this and make sure you push it in tight enough so that the pin holds the record in place and doesn't slip up. So here's where the measuring comes in. So I'm just measuring and marking the wall at headboard level like this. And I'm also going to measure vertically from that point onwards to the point where I've secured the pin. I'm just going to mark it there because that's where my other records are going to line up to the right side. Here I'm just measuring the dimensions on this side to make everything symmetrical. So I'm going to position my records 9.5 inches above headboard level on the right side just like it was on the left side. Now that both ends have been defined, it kind of sets a frame for the rest of the wall. Here I'm just spacing out the records, so in my case, each record is about 4.5 inches apart. Just make your measurements as accurate as you can because if you mess up here, then the rest of the wall looks odd too. I ended up changing into shorts and a tank top because the jeans were getting really uncomfortable with all the climbing and the crouching, so yeah. But anyways, we're going to get started on the second row. Now this is the last bit of measuring in the whole project. It just involves measuring a 2 inch gap between the records below and the records above just to make sure that they're all aligned. Other than that, I'm just eyeballing the horizontal space. From here on, just work your way up until you hit the ceiling or run out of records. I don't know if you've noticed, but my room has been getting darker throughout the course of this video and that's because it's taking forever to do considering I have so many records and it's just me doing it by myself. So fair warning, it's going to take about an hour to do this whole thing. And when you're done, it should look like this. Perfect, aligned, and super focal, for lack of a better word. This project is great if you're on a student budget because you can transform the whole look of your room for about $25 to $30 and not have to spend more on other decor. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.